Hi dear students, welcome to Gita's classes. So in this class we are going to start Mathematics 2, Unit 1. We are going to just see the introduction of Unit 1. Okay. So if you consider, so first unit is differential equations of first order and first degree. Before that, if you are an engineering student, any student of engineering technology for that matter, whatever may be your branch needs a certain amount of mathematics. So mathematics plays a vital role in your engineering. Okay. So the amount, the content learned in this prescribed syllabus is of great use in learning the respective branch subject. So without having the basics of mathematics, basics of these topics, you cannot do well in your engineering subjects. Okay. So how it is useful is a matter which is understood, which is uh, while going through the branch subject. So if you have a strong base in mathematics, definitely you can do very well in your subjects. Okay. So first let us see uh, introduction. Now we are going to see differential equations of first order and first degree. Before that, uh, always I advise my students to uh, understand mathematics. If you read mathematics, you cannot do well in that. Okay, So you have to understand so that just now as I told you, uh, you can do very well in your engineering subject as well. Okay, And uh, never by heart things. Okay, uh, There are certain formulas of course you have to by heart. But uh, generally try to understand to the maximum uh, so that it will be easy for you. Okay, that is why people are telling that mathematics is difficult because it is, uh, they pe the people read mathematics. Then it will be difficult only. So please try to understand. Okay, so my aim is to make you understand the subject. Right, so before that initially, first, uh, first of all I want to tell you two basic things. Suppose if I have the equation y is equal to x plus 5. Okay. So here, what is the name we are giving for x? It is called, uh, I'll tell you before that. Uh, see, x is equal to, if I assign x is equal to 1, y will become 6. Okay. If I assign x is equal to 0, y becomes 5. I, I can assign x is equal to 100 also. y is equal to 105. Right. So according to the values of now, I have the freedom of assigning any value for x. Okay. That is how the equation is given. So x can be given any values according to the values of x, y will change. That means y depends on the value of x. Okay. That is why x is called as we have the freedom of assigning any value for x. It is called independent variable. X is called the independent variable and as y depends on the value of x, y is called the dependent variable. Okay. And in general, suppose if I have y is equal to f of x. Generally, general equation, we write it as y is equal to f of x. And you can write the same equation as x as a function of y also. In that case, x will become dependent and y will become independent. Okay. So now y is equal to f of x. This is the general uh, equation. Y is a function of x. In, in this, x is a x is an independent variable, y is a dependent. So generally, we write, uh, differentiate y as a function of x. Y with respect to x, sorry. Y with respect to x. That means we can differentiate this by dy by dx. That is generally it is denoted by f dash of x. Depending on the fu uh, function of x, we will write the, we will differentiate, okay. And d squared y by dx squared. Also, you can find out. Similarly, you can find out d cube y by dx cube. Listen, uh, y is equal to dy by dx is equal to f dash of x. dy by dx is equal to f dash of x means this is again a function of x. d squared y by dx squared is f double dash of x. Again, this is again a, a function of x. Okay. So we can differentiate this again and again and this will be f triple dash of x and so on. Okay. But now y is equal to f of x is the given function and here x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. So dy by dx is f dash of x. This is called first time I am differentiating. So it is called first order differentiation. First order differentiation. 
or dy by dx is called first order differential coefficient. First order differential coefficient. Okay. So dy by dx is called first order differential coefficient. Similarly, what about the second one? Second time I am differentiating. So second order differentiation or second order. This is called second order differential coefficient. Similarly, this is third order differential coefficient. Okay. So, first of all, you should know, you don't get uh, confused with order and degree and all. First time, if I am differentiating, that is the first order differentiation. Second time, again, if I differentiate, it is second order differentiation and so on. Okay. So, these are the differential coefficients. What is the meaning of this uh, dy by dx? It, is, it gives you the rate, uh, rate at which uh, y changes. Okay. With respect to x. Similarly, what is d squared y by dx squared? The rate at which dy by dx changes with respect to x. Okay. So, everywhere it, x is the independent variable and with respect to x only we are differentiating. And here we have only one uh, independent variable. So, all these things are called ordinary differentiation. Okay. Differentiation. When you get more than one variable, we will uh, go for partial differentiation. That we will see later. Now, <coughs> now f of now we will have the equations, we will come across the equations uh, x which involves x comma y comma dy by dx comma d squared y by dx squared and so on equal to 0. Okay. The, when you have for example dy by dx the whole squared plus 4 into dy by dx plus 4y is equal to 0. If you have one equation like this, then it is called the uh, differential equation. Why it is called differential equation? For example, say, listen, equal to uh, means equal to if you have this symbol, then it is an equation. Left hand side you will have some expression, right hand side you will have some expression. Then it is called equation, right? So, this dy by dx the whole squared plus 4 into dy by dx now this equation in the left hand side it involves the differential coefficients. This is first order differential coefficient. Again this is also first order differential coefficient. You can have something like this or you can have d squared y by dx squared plus 4 into dy by dx. This is another example. Okay. You can have like this also. So these are all examples of differential equations. Okay. Uh, differential equations means what? An equation which, con which contains differential coefficients. It can have dy by dx, d squared y by dx squared, uh, d cube y by dx cube and so on. And next is the solution. See, y is equal to 4x you have. Then what is dy by dx? It is 4, right? So, this is the given uh, equation. The relation between uh, x and y and by differentiating this, I got this equation, right? dy by dx. Now, can you say that second is a differential equation? Yes, of course, because we have dy by dx in this, right? So, when you solve this equation, what do you, what will you get? Integrating, integrating 2, what will you get? y is equal to 4x plus c, okay? Plus c, you can have here, uh, c is not there, 4x plus 8, for example, you will take like this, 4x plus 8. When you differentiate, you will be getting only 4, right? So, there is a chance of having the constant. That's why we are writing this uh, C also. So, Y is equal to 4X plus C is in the place of C, we are getting 8. So, Y is equal to 1. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Equation number 2 is the differential equation and we say that 1 is the solution of equation number 2. 1 is the solution of equation 2. Okay. That means, uh, I'll give you what you mean by this solution. We have seen one equation, no, y is equal to x plus 5. Can you say what is the solution of this equation y is equal to or before that x plus 5 is equal to 0. I'll give you another example. x plus to make you understand the meaning of the solution. So, x, is, x plus 5 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to minus 5 we say. Okay. So, we call this x is equal to minus 5 as the solution of the equation. 
solution of x plus 5 is equal to 0. Why you are telling, how you are telling that it is a solution? When you substitute this x is equal to minus 5 in this equation, minus 5 plus 5 will be equal to 0. That is, when you substitute this value in the equation, x is equal to minus 5 if you substitute in the equation, then LHS is minus 5 plus 5 and right hand side is 0. So, when you substitute, replace this x by particular some value, then it is equal to the right hand side. Suppose if you substitute x is equal to 7, will it satisfy? No. Only for minus 5, it will satisfy. Okay. That means right hand side is equal to uh, 0 we got. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, x is equal to minus 5, we call it as a solution. That means it should satisfy. What is the meaning of satisfying? When you substitute in the given equation, you must get left hand side is equal to right hand side. Then only we say that it satisfies. Okay. Similarly, y is equal to 4x plus c if you uh, substitute this. From this, uh, dy by dx by differentiating, you are getting dy by dx is equal to 4. Okay. From this equation also, by differentiating, we are getting dy by dx is equal to 4. That is why uh, 1 is called the solution of the second equation or this is called 3 also. 3 is nothing but, uh, 1 is nothing but a particular uh, solution or particular uh, case of this equation 3. Okay. So, generally we say that 3 is a solution of equation 2. You can say 1 is a uh, solution of equation 2 also. Okay. Understood. So, this is satisfying. So, solution means if you are given one differential equation, solving the differential equation means you have to find out y as a function of x or uh, uh, that is a relationship between x and y you have to find out. Okay. Which satisfies the differential equation. <coughs> Now, let us see order and degree of the differential equation. All of you would have studied these things, uh, but again we are recollecting that. The order of the highest derivative. Now, you would have understood what is the <coughs> order and uh, what do you mean by first order, second order and so on. Okay. And what is the order is different from that one. First order means first, uh, first time when you differentiate, you will be getting first order differential equation, differential coefficient, second order differential coefficient and so on. And after getting the differential equation, what is the order and degree Order and degree of the uh, differential equation? The order of the highest order derivative involved in a differential equation is called the order of the differential equation. That means a differential equation is said to be of order n if the nth order derivative, nth, uh, you know what is uh, nth order derivative in the highest uh, degree, uh, highest order derivative, uh, sorry nth order derivative is the highest order derivative in that equation. Then n is called the order of the e differential equation. We will see examples. Don't worry. Now, degree of the differential equation means what? Highest degree of the highest derivative. Highest derivative means highest order derivative. Okay. Which occurs in it after the differential equation has been made free from radicals and fractions. Suppose if you have root of or cube root of all those things should be removed after that as far as the derivatives are concerned. Okay. So, first one, uh, example, x squared into d squared over by dx squared minus 4x into dy by dx plus 6y is equal to 0. What is the order? Now, dy by dx is the first order, right? So, and you have more than that. Yes, d squared y by dx squared. This is the second order. This is the maximum. You don't have d cube y by dx cube. So, order is 2, okay? And for this highest order, what is the power of this? It is 1. So, order is 2 and degree is 1. Now, another example, now you have root of 1 plus, so this should be removed. How can you remove, left, let us simplify this, y minus x into, you bring this to the left hand side, dy by dx is equal to root of 1 plus dy by dx, the whole square. So, uh, squaring on both sides, y minus x, the whole square, sorry, y minus x into dy by dx, the whole square is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square, right? So, now expanding this y squared plus x squared into dy by dx the whole square minus 2xy into dy by dx is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square. Now, let us bring this everything to the left hand side. Uh, so, x squared into x squared minus 1 into dy by dx the whole square 
minus 2xy into dy by dx plus y squared minus 1 is equal to 0. What is the highest order dy by dx only? You don't have d squared y by dx squared at all. Only dy by dx the whole squared. Okay, so order is 1. Only first order, so order is 1. What about the degree? Highest orders power, right? Power of the highest derivative. So here highest derivative is dy by dx only whole power 2. So degree is 2. Okay. Now let us see some more uh, definitions. So solution of a differential equation. Just now I have told you it should satisfy the given differential equation. Any relation between the dependent and independent variables. Any relation between x and y in this examples. So not containing their derivatives. So in the solution you are not supposed to have dy by dx, d squared by dx squared and so on. Which satisfies the given differential equation is called a solution or integral of the differential equation. Okay. So if you consider any one differential equation d squared y by dx squared plus y is equal to 0. Then you will have y is equal to uh, c1 into cos x plus c2 into sin x. For any value of this c1, this will be the solution of 1 is the solution of 1. 1 is the differential equation and in the solution we will say yeah, yeah this is a relationship between y and dx. It does not contain any dy by dx or d squared by dx squared and so on. No differential coefficients are there. But if you substitute here definitely it will satisfy. Okay. So now and c1 and c2 are uh, constant. They are called arbitrary constants because we can assign any values for c1 and c2. For any uh, values of C, any real values of C1 and C2, it will satisfy. That is why they are called arbitrary constants. Where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants. All these definitions are important. Okay. General solution. So, a general solution containing the number of independent arbitrary constants which is equal to the order of the differential equation is called the general solution or complete primitive of the equation. For example, if you consider d squared y by dx squared minus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y. All these solutions, how to find out the solutions, we will see when we are doing the problems in the corresponding topics. Okay, So y is equal to c1 into e power x plus c2 into e power 2x will be the solution, right? Here, what is the order of this differential equation? Second order, right? So, order is 2. And how many constants, arbitrary constants you have in the solution c1 and c2? So, number of constants, number of arbitrary constants in the solutions. In the solution is also 2. Therefore, it is called the general solution. So, uh, equation, let us give equation number 1 for this. Let us assign 2 for this. So, 2 is the general solution of equation number 1. When will you say that it is a general solution? The number of constants should be equal to the number order of the differential equation. Okay. And in this particular values, uh, for if you, for these constants C1 and C2, if you assign some values, constants uh, for this C1 and C2, they are called the particular solution. So, for the previous problem, y is equal to, I am assigning C1 is equal to 1, C2 is equal to 1. So, e power x plus e power 2x is one solution and y is equal to e power x minus 2 into e power 2x. This is again a solution. So, we are assigning some values for this particular uh, constants, arbitrary constants. They are called the particular solutions. These are the particular solutions. From the general solution, we are deriving. Okay, We are assigning some particular values to the constants. Next is singular solution means a solution which cannot be obtained from the general solution. That is important. Which cannot be obtained from the particular solution can be obtained from the general solution. Right? Now a solution which cannot be obtained from the gen from any general solution of a differential equation by any choice of the independent arbitrary constants is called the singular solution. I will give you one example. Consider the differential equation dy by dx the whole square minus 4y is equal to 0. This is equation number 1 given differential equation. 
Now the solution will be y is equal to x plus c the whole squared. Is the general solution. Uh, when will you say that it is general solution? Only one constant. C is there. What is the order of the differential equation? 1. Therefore, it is called the general solution, right? So, x plus c the whole squared is the general solution. Now, uh, but we know that y is equal to, this is the general solution, over. But y is equal to 0 is also another solution of equation number also a solution of equation number 1 but can you derive this uh, uh, y is equal to 0 from this no from the general solution for any c value will it become 0 no okay therefore therefore it cannot be obtained it cannot be obtained by any choice of Any choice of C in equation number 2. Therefore, y is equal to 0 is a singular solution. Okay, understood. And how to find out the singular solution from the general solution by differentiating uh, with respect to C and all, we will see when we do the problems. Okay. Uh, so, generally, now we, are, we have come to the main point, differential equation of first order and first degree. And throughout this unit, we are going to solve only the first order and first, uh, first order differential equations, okay. And higher degree also we will solve only first order, that is only dy by dx we are going to do, okay. So, first definition of first order and first degree means an equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y is called a differential equation of first order and first degree. So, there are uh, uh, four uh, methods, four types of this first order and first degree equation. So, in general, first order uh, differential equation are classified into, uh, we'll, uh, already we have studied this variable separable forms. And homogeneous equations, homogeneous equations and which can be uh, equations reducible to homogeneous equations. Homogeneous equations, homogeneous form or we can say homogeneous forms. And another one is exact differential equation exact differential equation and equations reducible to exact form just by multiplying the integrating factor okay and fourth one is linear equations and Bernoulli's equations linear differential equation and Bernoulli's equation so, uh, this one and these two uh, forms already you have studied in your intermediate, even exact also I think you would have started. Uh, now, in our syllabus, we are going to start from this exact differential equation and reducible to exact form and linear and Bernoulli's equations and first order higher degree also we will uh, see in this, okay. So, in the next class, we will see how to solve the, how to find out whether the given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not and how to solve that, what is the method to solve that, okay. And thank you for listening to the class. Let us see in the next class.